Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of the series within the Digital Adoption Show that we call Dap Up Skill, the podcast where we unravel the mysteries of digital transformation across various departments in any organization. I am your host, Arya, and in today's episode, we are tackling a critical question. How can digital adoption strategies transform the way customer success managers operate in their day-to-day -day tasks? It's not just about the software. It's about how these tools can reshape the way CSMs interact with their clients. We'll also explore the diverse landscape of industries and sectors and how they perceive and utilize digital adoption strategies. Every industry has its unique challenges, and we will uncover how DAPs adapt to meet those specific needs. And of course, we won't forget the practical insights. Our expert guest will share valuable advice for anyone considering taking the leap into digital adoption within their company. The journey can be complex, but with the right guidance, it's a transformation that can drive unparalleled success. So whether you're a seasoned professional in customer success, a curious newcomer, or just someone looking to learn more about digital adoption strategies and how they can elevate your business, you are in the right place. Let's dive into the world of digital adoption and its profound impact on customer success. Stay tuned as we explore these pivotal insights with our guest today and get ready for some eye-opening revelations. My guest on today's podcast is Akanksha, a seasoned customer success leader at Podfix. She has been an integral part of the team for five years, joining as one of our earliest employees. With nine years of comprehensive experience in various implementation and customer success roles, she spearheads a thriving customer success team while driving digital strategic projects that foster enduring relationships with key customer executives. Witnessing the remarkable evolution of the DAP over the past five years, Akanksha finds her greatest joy in the happiness of her team and the success of her customers. Hello, Akanksha. Welcome to the Digital Adoption Show. We are so glad to have you and I think it's going to be an amazing experience for you and us both. Thanks for having me, Arya. I'm so happy to be here. Okay. So in this episode, we are focusing our lens a little bit towards the customer success side of every organization. Okay. And the reason we asked you to be a part of the show is because we know you have been in the space for the longest time. And the most interesting question that I could come up with to ask you, which would be very insightful for our listeners as well, is that you are a customer success manager, right? You have customers from all types of industries, ranging from manufacturing to say electronics and whatnot. So how do you think have they perceived DAP and what issues have you seen these folks have and what, what kind of people do you work with and how do they perceive that basically? Yeah, so in the diverse landscape of industries we serve, the perception of DAP varies widely and it caters to several unique organizational objectives. So what's really common is emphasizing on a user-centric approach mm -hmm. that not only simplifies success measurement it is also making goals more tangible and achievable so certain sectors which are grappling with time sensitive tasks and stringent yeah. SLAs have witnessed this transformative uh, power of DAP in providing timely support streamlining operations reducing costs a good example is industry such as banking and insurance and the way swift accessibility of let's say important resources has taken away the stress for employees. So in these industries, DAP is not only helping streamlining processes, it also ensures a lot smoother compliance with deadlines. And you can imagine the convenience yeah. of having essential information at your fingertips precisely when you need it the most. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It helps with onboarding. It helps while training. It helps in a lot of processes. I joined recently and it helped, you know, me and it, I know people who are using it around me, all these enablement people. And it's it's just fun and convenient thing to use also. And it's new. So a lot of people are going to explore. Okay. Yeah. And especially when you have very time sensitive processes, you want to do it on time and you want to make yeah. sure that things are getting completed and you are delivering to your end users or customers on time. So, yeah, I mean. 
it all just comes together very well yeah it makes total sense also you have seen the kind of issues that people face by adapting to anything new it's it's basic human yeah. instinct that you are opposing any change which is happening in your environment so you have seen up close the kind of issues people face with digital adoption what is one piece of advice that you would give to anyone who's even considering adapting to dap in their company or just exploring about it also yeah and thank you for asking this question <laughs> over the years this answer has evolved for me over 5 years i would say this answer has evolved for me i would definitely start by saying begin early with a well defined dap strategy distinguish between what you want to do in house what can be outsourced and then set clear objectives and outcomes so first go deep in learning what your user needs what they want and if there are too many objectives you can prioritize the easily measurable result which is user satisfaction as your key metric yeah. i am a big fan of ensuring a continuous feedback loop for improvement which basically means implementing a structured method to mm-hmm. gather and also act upon that user feedback and even as you evolve keep your focus intact on user satisfaction so my last advice would also be to establish a dedicated team solely yeah. focused on driving the dap strategy yeah. forward and all this i hope will certainly ensure sustained and effective dap implementation yeah you know what you said really struck a chord with me because we have had kerry rivers on the show with us she is from boston scientific and she said the exact same thing when we asked her how cuz she went through a very successful adaptation okay we asked her what help you so that it could help anyone who's thinking about doing the same thing and then she said that the first thing that they did was create a team create a team of yeah. people who understand the process who are good at making others Absolutely. understand the process a very equipped team was her first mm-hmm. answer yeah so and who can you really uh, act on the feedback that everyone is giving who have time and space and energy yeah. to really consolidate everything know their audience really well and then yeah. provide them with the guidance that they require yeah because if something doesn't work for their audience this is so like you can make so many changes within the system that yeah. it will eventually be how your customer or how your employees need it to be that was yeah. userization another thing that we were discussing in one other episode all right mm-hmm. all right. and Okay, so you mentioned a while ago that you have been in the space for five years. So mm-hmm. you have worked in this space when there was no DAP access to you, when you were not using digital adoption platforms in your day-to-day activities. Versus now, when you are working in a company which builds the software, which means that you might be using it too. So, have you noticed any difference? You are a manager. Have you noticed any difference in how your team operates, in the efficiency of your team, communication, all of that? Absolutely, in so many ways. With a DAP, our CSMs too can deliver targeted guidance, right? They can pull valuable resources for yeah. our customers, and it is not only enhancing the overall customer experience, but it is also making this hectic CSM life a little bit easier. <laughs> the next big one for me it's usage and customer statistics so just like any other customer centric team most of the tasks in customer success can be time yeah. sensitive and mm-hmm. uh, dap really assists in automating these essential yet complex administrative processes for example such as code creation contract or agreement creation etc so in fact it is also helping in tracking of customer health nudging for daily activities and highlighting our key performance indicators not just to me but to my csms as well and it also helps guide us through some customer specific playbooks so overall eliminating this need for constant self reminders you know because otherwise it's just a big list of items that we have to do and we keep yeah. you know adding on to it forgetting what we had to do earlier um, yeah, yeah yeah so we so yeah people uh, used to DAP, have big spreadsheets yeah. and you know like putting their tasks for the day maintaining it every single day yeah. now we just don't have to do it it's very easy like that yeah and now imagine someone something can nudge you 
hey, today is the due date. Why don't you finish it off today? Or the due date is coming in a week or in seven days. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's it, it has certainly made our life a lot easier. And our focus essentially remains on delivering exceptional service rather mm-hmm. than getting lost in these administrative tasks. And since you asked about the team manager side of things, so personally, as a team manager, I have to do a lot of context switching and work through changing priorities every single day. So having mm-hmm. the right help in different contexts really saves me a lot of time in finding out how to go about doing things and yeah. just takes away this load to remember every workflow every time so i can just go into an application find out how to get things done here finish it off and move to a different set of activities yeah it could be customer facing it could be admin related work it could be performance related evaluations etc so yeah it just really helps me ease that context switching and the cognitive load that comes from context yeah, switching yeah. makes sense makes sense i really want to ask you another question which is what level of adoption have you seen in different industries like if you talk about manufacturing industries they would go for some different kind of adoption and we can personalize mm-hmm. it according to their needs and you would have mm-hmm. seen what all kind of adoption different industries go for can you tell us a little bit about that Yeah I think uh, as I as I initially said it is very much dependent on the goals and the department and the processes that we begin with and we want to focus on in the beginning yeah. uh some objectives are very similar across industries some can differ and can be very business centric and in terms of things that are that you feel are almost the same everywhere is this being able to onboard anyone on applications and tool or overall in the organization just gets a lot easier with dap so the adoption that we have tracked in that area in that segment is how quickly our new employee is able to perform the duties and the onboarding for them is a lot you know smooth and easier and they feel confident that yeah. uh, you know what i am confident enough to start my duty from this day onwards so that's the kind of adoption we look for in some of the common practices some can be very unique some unique ones i would say would be how easily an underwriter in an insurance company can really get access to information while doing the overall underwriting process which is again time sensitive and uh, when they are uh, looking for the right information the right you know guidelines or the forms or yeah. some can be specific to that context or the state that they are operating from when they are able to find that information and fetch that information immediately instantly as at the moment of need they are able to complete the uh, process really quickly and really deliver a good experience to their customer so the customer goes back happy the underwriting team is yeah. able to meet their deadlines so it's it's all it's all good in the end yeah a while ago we had shreya who is again a csm she was interviewing one of her customers don and don is from ameris bank and she was on the show and she was mm-hmm. also talking about the same thing that no one pays that much attention in classes you do not retain a lot of information especially for people in the sales department people in the banking industry where you actually have to call people and you have to talk yeah. to people you need a lot of confidence to ace it and that confidence comes when you have all the information right when you need it where you need it very easily accessible all of that absolutely. yeah so it makes absolute sense what you just said yeah amazing okay i learned a lot from what you had to tell us and share with us and i hope you had a great time here and i thank you thank you for helping me think through things thank thank you so much <laughs> not a problem not a problem I, i'm sure everyone will love what you had to say about so many things okay, okay so this is the end of the episode bye akanksha it was so nice to have you here bye thank you all for watching stay tuned as we bring you fresh perspectives every week on the digital adoption show we are thrilled to announce that our podcast is now live on multiple platforms including youtube spotify apple podcast google podcasts and much more 
Stay tuned for upcoming episodes filled with insightful conversation. We greatly appreciate your support and encourage you to leave a review, comment, or a rating to help us continue delivering valuable content. If you have any questions on the topic, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thank you.